What if modern F1 cars had grooved tyres? Well, to find out, we're going to be jumping on the F1 2020 game, and I've modified it to give us grooved tyres. I've actually used the 2008 McLaren grooved tyres, because of course that was the last year that in F1 had grooved tyres, and I basically copied everything over from that, um, more or less the visuals, we'll get into that in a moment, um, but fundamentally the, the way the tyre works, it, it's um, kind of temperature, it's wear, all of that kind of stuff. Obviously back in 2008 um, we had a different tyre supplier, so obviously you know the characteristics are bound to be different, but I figured that was probably a better way of doing it rather than just trying to kind of make those variables myself because obviously you know having groove tires would change everything so basically i've put the 2008 tires on um, and then the only difference on top of that is that i've given the rear tires about 15 percent more grip because of course we with modern f1 cars we have now got slightly wider uh, rear tires to give us better traction with these really high torque modern f1 cars um, and about 15 percent difference is what they are normally in the 2020 game um, front to rear so i've basically reinstated that difference because 2008 they were completely uh, asymmetric, I think that's the right word, um, where they were the same front and back. Anyway, let's get into it. We're going to jump into a one-shot qualifying first, see what they like. And this is what I mean about the visual. You can barely see the groove. Um, that's down to a lighting issue. We're coming into the first turn now, breaking early, trying to get slowed down just about managed to do so. Already feeling the lack of grip. Whoa, already spun straight away. Or almost spun, I should say, straight away. Clearly, there's going to be a lot less grip. Again, we are just running the 2008 tyres as they are. Um, we haven't changed anything other than to give the rears a bit more grip. So, oh my word. Of course, I will say this game, oh well, more this car, but also this game hasn't been optimised to run in these conditions. So, this isn't necessarily the most realistic test that you could possibly get. I mean, obviously, given tyres with this low grip, they design the cars a little bit differently. Um, but we are really struggling, actually, at the moment. Really, really struggling for grip. Look at that. I mean, there's just no grip in the tyres. You can't get the power down at all. There's a bit less grip in the corners, but because we've we've given it a bit extra rear grip to compare to what they actually had back then, it's quite settled in the corners, but then it's so hard to get off the corners. We have got quite a bit less grip. Right, let's try it. See if we can get on the power. Oh, just about managed to get on the power there and get up through the exit. Well, we were going to drop back and move back into last place anyway for this qualifying. So we'll do that definitely on purpose. We've definitely just on purpose just qualified at the back of the grid there. So uh, anyway, let's get into the race. Just before we get into the race, I'm here to ask you to please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. The momentum has been absolutely crazy lately. We gained a thousand subscribers this week. We're on 32k at the time of making this video. So please subscribe if you do enjoy my content. Let's get back to the video. There we go. And on the grid, you see the steel tires there. You can see the groove much better. But again, the lighting not really showing how deep the groove is. Going to try and get a good start now with this limited rear grip from the groove tires. Definitely a slower start than normal. Definitely. Oh, even still, we'll spend right up to fifth gear. We try and go in the middle of the pack here, but that's not going to work out. Kimi Raikkonen and Darby up the inside. We're going to... Oh, I was going to say we're going to have some of that, but Roman Grosjean decides that that is not going to happen. And everybody's squirming around all over the place. And uh, I will say I've forgotten to modify the Ferrari, it seems, because they're a bit OP. Look at the minimap. They're miles ahead. Clearly, something going on with their mod. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. We're not able to make it through the pack. AI, of course, being traction controlled themselves able to have a good advantage on these tyres because it's the rear grip that I'm really struggling for. Of course, I'm in a Mercedes, so you think I'd be able to make my, pack, my way through the pack at least a little bit, even with these grooved tyres. Oh, bit of wheel spin there. We're okay. Just it's, it's in the corner. It feels very similar. When you're not on the, the throttle, it feels very, very similar. It's quite well balanced, and it goes through the corner nicely. Oh, three wide on the exit of whatever that corner's called. Oh, my God, you should not be three wide through here. We've done it, though. Can we outbreak them? No. Oh, my... Oh, Magnuson. Oh, my God. We're still three wide. No, we're not anymore. We just lost a couple of positions there because Magnuson decided to absolutely send it. They've all run out of ERS by looks a bit, so we'll be taking some of that. Oh, bit of contact there. Quite aggressive defending once again from Roman Grosjean. He keeps getting in our way. We're, of course, going to have some straight line speed advantage on these guys. Get it all slowed down. They might have braked a little bit late there. Of course, AI adapting quite well to this mod, but as always, the brake is their biggest issue. We're just braking a little bit deep. Anyway, then, coming down the straight. Now, 1 minute 25, last lap. Let's see if we can get onto the back of George Russell. He's up to 14 from the Williams. Nice from him. You see a little slap, snap of oversteer from him. There's a bit of traffic up ahead as well. Let's see if we can go and get him. Now, let's have a little look at the tyre temperatures all like in, a, in about a window where we'd like them i do have the carcass simulation off for these tests because 
I don't want to be sweating with uh, some tyre... Oh, God. Some tyre temp stuff going on. But they're, they're keeping more or less in the right window, which is interesting. Because, again, I've used everything from the 2008 tyre, including the... the oh, God. Rust having a big snap there. Um, including the the, uh, the temperature stuff, the wear stuff. All of it is all the same. We went a little bit deep there. We're right at the back of George Russell now. A huge amount of oversteer. And you can definitely tell the groove tyres are making a difference on the exits. I'm going to try and get the inside of George Russell here. Use a lot of overtake to get past him. Nice and easy job done. And they will wear a lot slower. I think that off the top of my head from the code, I think these tyres wear about half as quickly as the slick tyres do. Because again, obviously these were uh, Bridgestone tyres. Um, Bridgestone or Michelin? I think they are probably uh, exclusively Bridgestone in 2008. And a lot of battling going on up ahead. Of course, DRS as well. We didn't have DRS back in 2008. Really, it puts the car much more on edge, which actually kind of makes it more interesting. I'm not going to lie to you. I mean, you can give the cars all the downforce in the world. <laughs> That's a word. And keep out just diving up the inside there. Oh, God, a bit of contact. It just came back across on us. Probably our fault, to be honest, that one. Set up our inside. We're going to try and hold it on the outside, which we've done nicely. Let's see now if we can just push a little bit and see what we can get out of these tyres. I'll have a look at the tyre wear as well in just a second. Oh, my word. A little bit of grass there and a half spin. What the hell? My word. And again, absolutely sending it down the inside. AI are loving these tyres. Oh, God. It's just the traction more. And this is, don't forget, this is with 15% extra grip on the rears. If I didn't put 15% extra grip to the rears relative to the fronts, I'd have absolutely no chance. But clearly, the high torque of the modern F1 cars with the hybrid engines is clear. Look, I mean, look at that. Kvyat yeah, has just had a half spin in front of us. Clearly, the high torque of these engines is really struggling with these groove tyres. He's going to defend, so we're going to fly straight runners outside. Unless he's going to send it. He is going to send it. We're going to hold it. Bit of contact there. Again, the AI outbreaking themselves. Four seconds now. Alex Albon ahead. I just noticed we're on the hard tyres. Let's put us on the hard tyres. Why is it put us on the hards? Clearly there's some interesting stuff going on in the in the in the files there, because we've obviously messed with the uh with the code. And everyone put you on, on hard tyres for a three lap race, that's very odd. So I think I'll tell you what we'll do. This this race is getting a bit boring anyway. We'll restart and we'll put ourselves on the soft tyres. Interestingly, it seems we actually can't put the soft tyres on. Um, and it's, look, defaulted everyone outside the top 10 onto hard tyres. So we're going to jump the start. Oh, oh. I'm going to try and jump the start. And we're going to try and get onto the back. Oh, God. Of some of these soft tyre runners here, look. Just to see what the difference is. Just so we can stick with these guys now. Because I, I don't know why the game's decided to put us on hards. It clearly thinks the hards are the better tyres with, uh, with the 2008 tyre mod. Oh, oh, my God. How has that even happened? We're going to have to check how that happened. <laughs> how the hell? There's the McLaren. What are these two up ahead? Bit of contact there. He just lost it. He just lost it all on his own. Look at this. Look at that. There's just no grip to be had. And he's just lost it all on his own. And we've just lost a few positions there by not paying attention. We've got to overtake now. We'll try and get some slipstream. See if we can stay ahead of these guys. Again, they're all on the soft tyres. So I'm interested to see how this plays out. Let's get a bit of a send. Whoever's on the inside. So we're now sorry. Oh, God. Again, someone else struggling for the rear grip there. Clearly got a bit of a tank slapper on and then went into the wall. Again, look at all these oversteer moments we're getting. Obviously, you know, 2008 tyres were designed for 2008 levels of downforce. Okay, there's car those cars did have a lot of downforce, but the modern F1 cars have got more downforce than any other. So clearly, if you were going to go for groove tyres, you would design the tyres in a special way in order to make them work well. Clearly, these are not working very well. <laughs> look at that, Max Verstappen, proper swapper. Are we going to go up the inside? No, we're not. What better that? That was too tight. And it's really mixing the field up. And if this is what it's like in real life, then I'm keen for some groove tyres. If this is what it creates, a bit of bit of carnage, give me them groove, groove tyres. Showing on the outside of Max Verstappen here, but we're not going to be able to break him. Break about the same point, both running a bit deep. Look at that, look at this. They're just sort of colliding with each other in slow motion there. Weirdly, we've now got another copper inside of Sergio Perez. We've got a bit slowed down there. He's going to absolutely send it. You know he is. Give us a bit of room yet. Oh, wow. That must be what's happening to the AI. It's just a very sudden snap. And I wonder if that, again, I wonder if that is what would happen. We're now getting overtaken by guys with hard tyres. 
So I wonder if it's soft tyres is, uh, is potentially benefiting them, but of course they're not coded very well to react to these or more that the game slash team, uh, you know, cars versus tyres are not optimised very well, clearly, to run on grooved tyres. Can also down try and get a good exit here so we can get past them if they get a bit of oversteer. No, no oversteer. Perez got a snap, so did Ricardo. Not going to get up the inside of him there, though. They break quite deep. There you go. Try and get the cut back. Oh, what's he doing? Why did he? That was weird. He just steered over onto our line. That was like a full blocking manoeuvre, but that's okay. Gives us the impetus to try and get past. George Russell, by the way. Loving the slick, the, uh, the groove tyres. Look at him. Up to P10. Go on, George Russell. The man, the myth, the legend. All the way up to P10. Okay, DRS is lap. Not going to get it done this straight, but that's okay. We should better get on the guys ahead, ready for the next straight. So, yeah, look, 1% tyre after three laps. The tyre, like I said, is about half of what it is in the modern cars. And we're on the hard tyres. I don't know why the game's thought to put us on the hard tyres. Again, clearly not optimised around this particular set of variables. Oh, again, their lines there just clearly not optimised. Let's just try and stick with them. Lots of snaps of oversteer everywhere. Imagine if this is what it was like in real life with groove tyres. I'll be calling for groove tyres back. As it is, I don't want it because I want F1 to be the best it could possibly be. And the best it could possibly be is not putting big, great grooves through the middle of a tyre. Oh, big snap of oversteer there for Sergio Perez. Allows us to go on the outside of him. And you do see that in the wet, don't you? You see when, when the, the grips are lower and the drivers are struggling... We do see it, things like that do happen, but again, I don't really want to see it in Formula 1, but this video is making a very good case for it to be a reality, isn't it? Can we go there on the outside of Max Verstappen? He's surely gone deep. Yeah, he's gone deep. Get back up his inside. Move done. Carlos Sainz is up next. Whoa! That was a big snap. That was a big snap. Okay, got it all to do again then. And George Russell still holding his own 11th now, just outside the points. But got two laps now. I want to try and beat Carlos Sainz if we can. So get past these guys once again. Let's try and save our ERS. If we can just be consistent. AI aren't very consistent with these tyres, it seems. They're all over the place. Of course, we are also in the best car, it should be said. We've got the most downforce. So that's surely going to help us a little bit. How far look ahead the Ferraris are now, how far ahead. Because they've uh, they've got the same tires that we've got, but they've there's their car characteristics are not characteristics are not modified around having these tires. So they've just got too much grip. Just wow, just very different circumstances. I think they've got lighter tires. The tires have also got, I think, less inertia, I think. That there's a couple of little changes there that are car specific that I've had to do. Quite a compl complicated mod mod, this chat. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Very complicated mod, so do subscribe if you haven't already. I spent most of the afternoon just trying to get the cards, get the game to this state. Big overstack over to there for Sergio Perez. We'll be taking that. Thank you very much, Sergio. No more die bombs, please. Thank you. Surely he's not going to die from that. Break late just in case. Get it slowed down nicely. Get a bit of oversteer. We get the same oversteer. That's, that's what they did. Right, if we can stick close to the middle sector, we might be able to take them. For the run to the line, maybe, maybe. Or do we dive up the inside of Max Verstappen here? No. Again, they just break so deep. It's not wise. Can we go on the outside? On the outside? No. It's just not enough grip out here. We're just losing a bit of time. It's Carlos Sainz. We don't need that. Can we get the cut back? We'll get a good exit. Perhaps go on the outside of him. No, 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 no. None of these things are possible. Sticking close with them, though. It's going to need to be the run to the line. Let's get up the inside of him here, but is he going to do a Daniel Ricciardo? Yes, he is. Bit of contact pushes him off us. I'll tell you what. I'm going to do a little flashback there, because I want to... I reckon we could, we could potentially get him for perhaps this point here. Oh, more oversteer, but maybe it's enough. Maybe. I think we're too far back. We're going to try for it. He's not using overtake ERS, but we're just too far back, even with DRS. We'll be able to close the gap hugely, but not quite get to him, unfortunately. It's going to be P7 across the line and there you go then guys that is modern f1 cars with groove tires well if this was realistic it actually really livens up the race but i want to see f1 cars being the fastest they could possibly be um i guess groove tires sort of artificially create almost like a wet weather type feel which is potentially why they were introduced in the first place but 
Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new, and I thank you for watching. Bye-bye.